hi guys salam tena yestelegn inde nachu salam nachu beyallachu besalamachu ibza yelete hamusun rafad liyo marja izer metena la pronunu nikatatulun subscribe like share bamarak tolo tolo marjaochu indersu yadurgu abronu nikatatulun wede marjaochu gawal think of them as the bodybuilders of their world man some water downright terrifying and yeah we've got actual giants so make sure you stick around to the end Hello and welcome to another amazing episode of Forever Green. Today we'll be looking at 25 of the world's biggest bulls. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content just like this. Let's get right into it. Number 25, Carabao. This big bad boy right here is the one and only Carabao bull. Carabao bulls are famed for their distinct sickle-shaped horns. These guys are also known as the Pinoy farmer's best buddies because of their role in the rice fields. They are very versatile, domestic swamp-type water buffaloes endemic to the Philippines, where they represent the Filipinos' hard work and perseverance. Characterized by low, broad, and heavy builds, the Carabao species are draught species that weigh between 880 to 1,102 pounds. The females are relatively lighter than the males, weighing in at about 880 pounds to 937 pounds, while the males can measure up at about 1,124 pounds. Cambodia's Carabao breed was first brought to the Philippines in the 1900s to develop the local Filipino breed. Today, we still have those with the genes of the ancient Cambodian Carabao, about 3%, like this guy. That looks like a supersized pig on steroids. Number 24, Aberdeen Angus. The next bull on our list is the Aberdeen Angus. Watch out, this is one bull you don't want charging at you. Even if it does, it won't bite. You just spend the next couple of weeks in the ICU, nursing a few broken bones, pun intended. Surprisingly, these guys aren't known to be violent. In fact, they're regarded as one of the gentlest, greatest, and tastiest beef producing bulls in the world. They're used in most of the beef products that we have out there. So, you see, there's absolutely nothing to worry about, except that the males weigh over 1,870 pounds in weight. But the females weigh less, with an average weight of 1,210 pounds, which is usually the case with bovines. There are two types of Aberdeen Angus. We've got the Black Angus, which usually don rich black coats, and the Red Angus, you guessed it, with red coats. Both these guys are either polled or naturally hornless. Aberdeen Angus is a Scottish breed from the agricultural region of Aberdeenshire in northeastern Scotland. Number 23, Indian Bison. The Indian Guar or Indian Bison is endemic to India and is the largest and tallest in the family of wild cattle, even bigger than the water buffaloes and bison. They stand at 3.4 meters tall and the males could tip the scales at 3,300 pounds. They are characteristically built animals with immense strength. To carry that much weight, they have powerful and sturdy limbs that are just as muscular as their backs. The Indian Bison have horns that are pale green or yellowish brown in color. The horns are not just pointed upward, but rather have slightly inward curvature. They have the ability to survive in some of the most deciduous forests, but opt to avoid the Himalayas with altitudes greater than 6,000 feet. Number 22, German Angus. Coming in grand style is the German Angus. The German Angus is a household name for those conversant with the cattle raised for their beef, and they don't even know how to keep a grudge. German Angus were bred in the 1950s in Germany by crossing Aberdeen Angus with a variety of native German breeds like the German Black Peat cattle, Gelbvie, and Fleckvie to create a hornless breed with superior beef quality and higher weight gains. Consequently, they have a similar trait to Aberdeen Angus, such as the red or black colored coats, being naturally hornless, easy and regular calving, and well muscled. The male German Angus weigh, on average, a mammoth 2,600 pounds, just a few pounds shy of the average weight of an adult male hippo. Number 21, Sabi Bungnari. Up next, we've got the Sabi Bungnari. These guys are no ordinary cow breed in their native Pakistan, where they're considered unique, especially during the festive season of Eid ul Adha. Their sheer size, sturdiness, and height have fascinated many across the globe. Initially bred in Sibi in Baluchistan, they've spread across most parts of Pakistan and some regions in India. They have a characteristic gray or white colored body with shades of black along their neck and tail. Along with their pretty impressive humps, they have short, muscular necks, straight backs, small dewlap, that flap of skin around their neck, and a broad chest. However, the adult has more breathtaking facts. They can weigh as much as 3,500 pounds. That's 1,100 pounds more than Brahan, which we'll talk about in a bit. And the same weight as an adult female rhino. Simply insane! Number 20, 
Jafarabadi. From the bull corner, all the way from Gujarat, India, weighing 1,500 pounds, welcome the Jafarati Buffalo Bull. These guys are the heaviest buffalo breed in all of India. What their females don't have in weight, they make up for in milk production. They are one of the highest milk-yielding buffaloes in the world, with an average milk yield between 4,629 pounds and 5,180 pounds per lactation. That's a lot of milk. Their most unique feature is their horns that look like floppy ears or like curved trunks. It's as though Mother Nature couldn't decide for these guys. The Javahara body is named after the town of Jarafabad in Gujarat. This breed was the product of a cross between an African cave buffalo and an Indian water buffalo, hence their tenacity in being able to take on a lion and, sadly, their low semen quality. Number 19. Brahmin The Brahmin breed of cows can be found on almost all continents of the world except for Antarctica, for obvious reasons. They're a breed believed to have originated from India before being exported and bred in America. The original Brahmin cattle were produced from a cross between the Concrej, Nilor, Gurat, and the Gur strain. The result? A breed with extreme tolerance to heat and resistance to insects due to their thick skin. This breed is reared for their high-quality beef, loads of which you can get from their over 2,400-pound bodies. Did you guys know that these are the first beef cattle bred developed in the United States? Well, you do now. This particular bull does its kin proud by representing what big, bold, and beautiful should look like. Number 18. Nilor Niloro Nilor is one of the oldest cow breeds in the world. They've been around for so long that they've been used to improve and produce other breeds. Over 2,000 years ago, their ancestors were brought to India by the Iran people. These ancestors were called Angol, another breed we'll be looking at later on, and were called only Nilor to signify their newfound home in Andhra Pradesh, India. Nilores aren't phased by extreme weather conditions, as they adapt to whatever climate they find themselves in. Nilores have a hump above their shoulder, are mostly horned, long-legged, and generally have loose skins. This guy is the heaviest weighing Nilor in the world, weighing over 3,000 pounds. Check out those packs of serious meats! Number 17. Nari Drought Master Nari Master Meet the Nari Master. Not only do these cattle have arguably the coolest breed name in the world, but they also have quite an interesting backstory. Remember the Drought Master of Australia? Yep, the cow breed with exceptional tolerance for heat. This is its Pakistani equivalent. You see, these guys were brought to Pakistan due to the similarity in environmental conditions and crossed with the biggest drought breed around, Sibi Bagnari. They are a relatively new breed, being that they were produced in 1969. The Nari Master, which sounds like the name a mighty samurai would have, has the same level of disease resistance, build, coat color, and bulkiness. The males weigh an outstanding 2,200 pounds on average, while the females can produce 1,036 to 1,250 liters of milk per lactation. Number 16. Angol Known for their resistance to foot and mouth and mad cow disease, the Angol cattle are highly sought after cow breed all over the world. As with the Nilor, they also originate from Andhar Pradesh in India. However, they have found their way to other parts of the world, serving various purposes. For example, in Mexico and some eastern African states, Angol are used in bullfights because of their strength and aggressiveness, while in other places these big bulls, which could weigh as much as 1,200 pounds, are used for draft work around the house or farm. Angoles generally famed for their toughness, natural tolerance, rapid growth rate, and hardcore disease resistance. Their females aren't left out of the awesomeness as well. They have a milk yield between 600 kilograms and 2,518 kilograms. That's one tough power couple. Number 15. Drought Master Perfect. Perfect. The next breed on our list is the Drought Master. From its name, you could infer that these guys were developed to withstand drought. They have a high tolerance to heat, tick-borne diseases, and sun damage. This hulk of a breed originated from North Queensland, Australia by crossing a Zebuin cattle with another British origin, making it the first turin to sign hybrid in Australia. However, much work was done on the breed by a breeder named R.L. Atkinson, who gave them the name that would stick to this day. Their males are way bulkier than the females, weighing over 2,200 pounds, while the females weigh around 1,500 pounds at full maturity. Drought masters have short coats that are red in color, horned or polled, and have moderate humps. They produce so much beef that breeders had to cross them with local Pakistani Bagnari breed to improve and increase the breed variant. More on this new breed shortly. Number 14. Belgian Blue Nothing to see here, just the most ripped bovine breed making its way to the world weightlifting contest. 
These guys never miss leg and butt day. They have exceptionally ripped shoulders, back, loin, and rump. But these dudes didn't get all jacked up by putting their gym membership card to good use, not with all the strict gym no pet policies. This is due to a condition known as double muscling. Double muscling increases the number of muscle fibers instead of the normal enlargement of individual muscle fibers, so the muscles basically compound. This condition doesn't start until they're about four to six weeks old. All that muscle makes the Belgian blue of the heaviest and height yielding beef cattle, weighing as much as 2,800 pounds. Number 13. Guzarat. The Guzarat, simply the Portuguese spelling of Gurat, are a breed of Zebu cattle made from imported Concrej cattle from the district of Concrej in India between 1875 and 1964. Therefore, they are very similar to the Concrej in terms of height, dual purpose, and high horns. Both these breeds, along with the Gur and Nilor, are the basis for the formation of the American Brahmin. Averagely, the Gurjat is bigger, darker, and have longer horns than Concrej. Their bulls weigh in at nearly 2,000 pounds, sport darker heads and forequarters, and are among the heaviest bulls in India. Even with their size, they are relatively calm around humans. If this isn't a gentle giant, I don't know what is. Number 12. Santa Gertrudis What do the Santa Gertrudis and Santa Claus have in common? Any guesses? Well, it's red. The Santa Gertrudis breed was named after the Spanish-owned estate of Los Cerros de Santos Gertrudis in the Wild Wild West, where it was developed in 1851. This American beef cattle breed is known as a taurine indesign hybrid breed, which means that they are descendants of zebu and European cattle. However, they didn't get officially recognized as a breed until 1940. The breed has a solid deep cherry red color with some traces of white in their underbellies. We have the horned as well as the polled. Santa Gertrudis has impressive resistance to ticks and bloats. But that's not the only remarkable thing about these guys. They weigh an impressive 2,200 pounds and have been exported to other countries for their ability to adapt to different climates. Number 11. Ankole and Watusi Known as the Ankole or Watusi in various parts of Central and East Africa where they were domesticated, these guys can easily be regarded as the heavyweights of Africa's domesticated bovines. With an average weight of 1,600 pounds and measuring up to 6.6 .6 feet, you'd agree these bulls truly deserve the title. One thing you'd never miss about these guys is their horns, which span up to 2.5 meters from one tip to the other. Their horns have made them some kind of majestic creatures that are literally worth their weight in gold. You see, if you own one of these in their native Tutsi, Ankol, or Kibu tribe, it represents status and brings respect. You could trade them for other valuable goods as you would with gold. So, you'd understand this cowboy's pride, riding one in a cattle breeding exhibition. Their horns look cool and have the largest circumference among all cattle. These humpless cattle were also brought to Germany and eventually other parts of Europe at the start of the 20th century because of their high adaptability to cold, dry, or hot weather. Number 10. South Devon Moving away from India, we've got the South Devon. South Devon cattle are the biggest of all native British breeds. They are said to have originated from Devon and Cornwall in southwest England and have descended from the large red cattle of Normandy, which were brought to England when the Normans invaded. They were formerly a triple-purpose breed, used for draught, milk, and meat production. But since 1972, they've been bred for beef alone. They measure up to 1.5 meters in height and weigh a mammoth 2,500 pounds on average. They adapt to varying climactic conditions pretty well and can be found on five continents, where they thrive and continue to be productive. They're easy to raise, meek, and very profitable. Number 9. Limosin Cattle Known as the carcass breed for its excellent beef yield and low proportion of fat and bone, the French Limousin cattle is one breed you'd look at and go, wow, they look like a Belgian blue and Santa Gertrudis rolled into one. Initially used as draft animals, this breed has now become famed for its high quality meat. They originated in the west of Mastiff Central between central and southwest France, a region known to not have fertile soil, so the natives opted for animal agriculture where they struck beef gold in the Limousin cattle. Due to their place of origin, they have unusual sturdiness, good health and adaptability. They have the highest feed to beef conversion ratio, higher than average dressing percentage, high meat to carcass ratio, and superb ability to produce lean, tender beef at any age. They weigh 2,200 pounds on average and have a strong boned frame for support. Number 8. Bazadice Cattle Still in France, let's look at the Bazadice Cattle Breed. This great cattle breed has exceptional length, 
excellent conformation, impressive muscular development, a broad back, and a well-rounded rump. They originated from Bazas, France in 1895, where a herd book was formed. They were formerly a working breed with hardiness, resilience, and resistance to cold and heat. Bazadice isn't one breed to attract egrets. They are resistant to ticks and flies and adaptable. Today they are renowned for their fine-flavored, low-fat, and well-marbled meat, making them one of the most sought-after beef cattle breeds. The average weight and height of a bull are 2,400 pounds and 1.45 meters respectively. Number 7. Montbelliard Next up, we have yet another French cattle breed with a name that tells you all about its origin. Montebelliard originated from the hot saint dubs region of France, but unlike their fellow French comrades, they aren't bred for their meat. Montbelliard is mainly raised to be dairy cattle, with particular attention to the cheese obtained from them. Emmental and Gruyere cheese are the best. Just ask anyone who's tasted them. Although the cows are the ones that seem to get all the attention, the bulls are equally as important. They also have great beefing qualities. You know, growing rapidly, good conformation, quality carcass, and all the good stuff you'd expect from a quality beef breed. They also happen to be quite macho, weighing between 2,400 to 2,500 pounds upon maturity. Number 6. Charles Ice At this point, it's safe to say some of the biggest bulls are of French origin. Here's another breed with a name that make you consider taking French class because of how cool it sounds. Talking about cool, did you see how cool those muscles look? The Charles bull isn't about the style and panché of the French. These bulls have been regarded as wagons of meat due to the insane amount of meat that can be gotten from them. On average, they could weigh anywhere between 2,200 pounds and 3,600 pounds, making them one of the heaviest cattle breeds in the world. Interestingly, they're also one of the oldest breeds in the world, believed to have been from the Jurassic Age, but wasn't until the 16th and 17th centuries that they were fully adopted into the farm around the Charles district. They are famed for their cream or white coloring, horns, and massive size. Let's check out the next macho bull from a not-so-distant neighboring country. Number 5. Vorderwald The Vorderwald cattle, or as the Germans would call it, Vorderwalder Rinn, is a dual-purpose cattle breed with a name that rhymes with Grindelwald. Not that they're evil or anything like that. But for non-German speakers like me, we'll call them Wald cattle. Not to worry, it's not a made-up name. Wild cattle were developed in the rough mountain conditions of the Black Forests in Germany. Consequently, they have strong legs, feet, and longevity. They generally have white legs and head with red, brown, and black patches around their coats. Wild bulls, a totally made-up name, weigh up to 2,300 pounds and are 1.5 meters tall. They also have forward-facing horns. Number 4. Belted Galloway staying in Europe, but this time taking a trip across the sea to the United Kingdom to take a look at the Belted Galloway, or Belties according to locals and breeders. Belties have an appearance as mysterious as their origin. Belties sport a coat that could be red or black sandwiched about a white middle, hence the name. And as for their origin, breeders couldn't stick to a story, so they concluded their origin is obscure, but they somehow agreed they came from the Galloway of Scotland. Aside from their weird appearance, they are reputed for converting rough grazing into lean meat. Some of the bigger bulls could weigh as much as 2,100 pounds. In addition, they're also known for their ease of calving and adaptability to various climactic conditions. Number 3. Glen Cattle These 2,600-pound bulls are a traditional cattle breed that used to serve more than one purpose on the farm. In the past, they were used for draught and beef production. But today, they're mainly bred for their high-quality beef. They're particularly found in the Rhineland, Palatinate region of Germany and were once on the brink of extinction. Luckily, with over 2,000 of them in the world, we continue to enjoy the excellent beef they produce. This breed is reputed for its unicolored yellowish fur. Number 2. Chianina Meet the largest cow breed in the world. This chap right here is only one year old, but it already weighs an astonishing 2,600 pounds matching the average weight of an adult gland. This Italian cattle breed can weigh as much as 3,800 pounds when fully matured and is the tallest of all cattle breeds. They may as well be one of the oldest cattle breeds still in existence. They share a place of origin with the famous Chianti wine. The Chiana Valley is in the province of Tuscany, Italy. Chianina were initially used as draft animals, but the advent of mechanized farming shifted breeders' attention to their immaculate beef production ability. These guys have long legs, heavy muscling, good disposition, and a superior growth rate. 
Without a doubt, bovines have been very helpful companions to humans over the years, and they don't often get the fanfare and praise we give to other farm animals and pets. We do hope we've done them proud by making this video, and you've picked up a thing or two from it. And if you haven't, here's one for you. I bet you didn't know cows could swim. Look at him go, but someone should tell the owner to have a rescue team on standby, just in case. Number 1. Maine and Jew 